We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, the Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, November 4, Holy, 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 Part 4. How much more, then, will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God. Hebrews 9, 14. I was amazed to learn that there is a mountain hidden in the first five books of the Bible, a mountain with two slopes and a towering peak. Scholars call these hidden literary mountains chiasms, unique devices whereby Bible writers were able to hide thematic mountains of matching parallel thought inside the Hebrew and Greek text. Writers developed chiasms to draw the discerning reader's attention to the mountain pinnacle, the apex truth or focus of the passage or book, or in the case of the Pentateuch, the summit of all five books. For the first five books of the Bible, all written by Moses, are a chiasm. Picture a triangle, and on the left side at the bottom is Genesis. On the opposite side of the triangle, on the bottom is Deuteronomy. Both books share amazing literary parallels. Following Genesis up the left slope of the chiasm comes Exodus, and up the right slope comes its parallel, Numbers, the book before Deuteronomy. And occupying the pinnacle of the chiasm is the remaining book, Leviticus. But William Shea and Richard Davidson discovered that Leviticus itself is a chiasm, with chapter 1 on the left slope and chapter 27 on the right slope, etc. And climbing up the slope, what is the peak to Leviticus, and by extension, the Pentateuch, the summit chapter, Leviticus 16, the chapter on the Day of Atonement and the Cleansing of the Sanctuary. But there's more. Shea and Davidson observe that the key word going up the left slope of the Leviticus chiasm is blood, used more than 60 times in chapters 1 through 16. And the key word down the right slope is holy, used more than 60 times from chapter 16 to the end. And at the pinnacle, the Day of Atonement takes those twin themes, divine sacrifice, blood, and human holiness, holy, and unites them. Mark it carefully. God calls for our holiness is premised upon God's gift of his salvation. Up one side of the mountain, God declares, through the sacrifices, I gave my life wholly, totally, for you. Down the other side of the mountain, he calls out, now live your life wholly, totally, for me. So don't let anybody try to tell you that the cleansing of the sanctuary and an end-time pre-advent judgment are about graceless legalism. The two sides of one mountain teach us otherwise. No wonder the chosen thank God for a mountain called Calvary. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the chosen.